how to highlight cells that are referenced in a formula in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you an excellent way that will help you identify all the cells that are referenced in a formula or in any formula in your worksheet. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Take a look at this worksheet. We have only one worksheet and we have used three formula here. But we can't say for sure which cell is included inside this formula. Suppose if I remove this, thinking it's not relevant here, if I remove this, our formula will stop working. So it's really important to know which cells are referenced in a formula because you can always see a formula by pressing Ctrl tilde and you will see each cell that has formula. There is an option to know which cell has formula but there is no option that will give you a bulk result for each formula reference. Usually there are two ways to identify which cell is referenced in a formula by clicking or double clicking the cell that has formula then it will highlight the range or reference that is used inside the formula that's one way and for that you have to double click on each cell that has formula another way is to select the cell that has formula again and then click on formula and here trace precedence if I click here you can see it will highlight all the cell that has been used inside this formula as a reference okay we can remove arrow but this method also requires you to select each formula and then mark which cells are inside this formula. Suppose if I write here equal to sum and I only highlight this part. How can you be sure which cells are selected here? Again, let's write here equal to concatenate or concat and I'm going to concat this and this cell. Okay, so we have this formula here. How can you be sure which cells are selected? For that I have created a VBA and once I use the code you will be able to see which cells are referenced in any of this formula. Okay. For that click on the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab check the video link and you will learn how to add developer tab in Excel. Once you have added the developer tab click on visual basic click insert and then click module. Once you reach here you'll have to write the code. I have already written the code for you. Please check the link in the video description to copy the code from there. Now close the VV and if you need to use this frequently you will have to save this workbook in .xlsm format. For that you will have to click on the file, click on save as, select the location and we are going to change the file save type to excel macro enable workbook. I am going to select it and click on save. And now here you can see our file name has changed pnl.xlsm. Okay, now we are ready. Let's run the code. For that click on the developer tab, click on macros or you can press alter and then f8 it will open the macro dialog box and from here you can select highlight reference cells in all formulas okay i'm going to click on run and you can see all the cell that has been referenced in any formula is now being highlighted you can see we have successfully highlighted all the cells that has been used as a reference in any formula you can see this formula is using these two cells and we have successfully highlighted this cell in yellow. What it means, if a cell is in yellow, it means you cannot remove it. If you remove it or change it, a formula might not work. So if this is what you need, this is how you do it. This is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can support the channel through Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you need this code frequently, you have to save this workbook in .xlsm format. And also, there is no Ctrl Z or no undo for any tasks that you do with VBA. So if you want to remove all the colors, select the entire worksheet by clicking here and the click on home and from here, select no fill and this is how you remove all the colors. So once you run the code there is no going back. You will have to change the highlight color manually which is not so tough. Select the enter worksheet and from the fill color. So I hope you like it. Thank you. Thanks for watching.